calls. Live at 516. <laughs> we had some technical difficulties. Uh, hopefully everything's sorted out uh, for all of you people out there that are uh, patient. We appreciate that. Uh, we are looking forward to delighting you with, with our updates of what we did since last Friday. All the new things are happening in the world of music. And uh, I can't wait to hear uh, Brando, um, my brother from another mother, Tricky Dicky, who's losing his mind because stuff hasn't been working. So thank you, Richard, for still keeping it cool under pressure. Naughty Gotti is at the director's chair. We got uh, uh, Gwensday Adams, Goth Gwen on the phone. Gwensday. If you want to give us a call at 855-601-ROCK. Yeah, that's her new nickname. I don't know that she realizes that, uh, but I now call her Gwensday. If you want to talk to Gwensday um, and uh, ask her how she feels about um, the movie Beetlejuice uh, stealing her life story, you know, and certainly the sequel, right? I feel like uh, I think she's going to try to sue them, right? That's like her biopic, right? How come they did? Is she in the new one? Gwen? Yeah. Gwensday? Yeah. I mean, isn't it about her, her, her cold, dark soul? Probably. Anywho, um, uh, happy to be here. Hopefully everything's, uh, you know, uh, working. Uh, people are are, uh, are saying it keeps dropping off. Um, we have each other. That's all that counts. That's We're here. true. We're here so, with our loyal, that's so really loyal not friends. That I don't know if uh, uh, what people uh, missed or didn't miss. So just so that we have an, a good edit point, let me just say this. <laughs> Welcome to Rock Tales. <laughs> Good to see you guys. We're excited for today's show. I do have my brother from another mother, Brendan J. Smith. It's good to see you, my man. Uh, Tricky Dicky, you're looking very handsome. Uh, open up that bottle of wine. Yeah. Uh, you deserve it. Uh, let's uh, let's let's get the the booze flowing. Naughty Gotti, our director, is here. Uh, Goth Gwen, aka Gwensday Adams, is on the phone. If you feel like giving us a call, 855 601 R O C K, we would love to hear from you. Tonight on Rock Tales, mm -hmm. after two weeks of Michigan, we are going to go track by track on the kick ass new album mm. from our friend who sat in this fucking chair a month ago Sebastian Bach. Sebastian Bach, Child mm. Within the Man. Tonight, are we? Yes, are we? we are. Yes, we are. Huh. We were supposed to do that last Heard week. This Sebastian before. was yeah. kind enough to retweet us today. Yeah. We are going to go track by track. By the way, I are we going to, to this Ventura the Ventura Theater yes, show? Yes, we are. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. When is that? End June, of June 27th, I think. June 27th. Thursday night, June Lot, 27th. Lots of things happening in June, by well, the way. There's a big, there's a big, there's a big event next Ooh, weekend. Next weekend. Next Saturday. Can we talk about this? One of the biggest events. I don't want to know. You're talking about time. Are you talking about my uh, 50th birthday celebration? Yes. Did you guys? Did, did we talk about this at all? Did you? Did you watch the roast of Tom Brady? Yeah. Did we? Did we yes. talk about that? Not really. Because uh, Nikki Glaser, mm -hmm. uh, one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. Absolutely. So many awkward moments mm -hmm. in that uh, in that roast. That's right. And uh, when we talked about. Uh, uh, for my birthday party, you know, when Shana, my wife, um, uh, the gasoline in my engine, the 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 spark in your plug, the spark in my plug, uh, when, the juice in your caboose. That's right. The juice is loose. You get your ski shined up. Grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move you. Pop it out. Grab a sniff. I don't know how the rest of it goes. A just a fruit, it gets right to you. It's oh. you so soft, it really moves you. A just a fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste yeah, is gonna it. move We got ya. it. We got it. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, um, when we were talking about doing a roast, I, I don't know that she was so familiar with the format. You know, the format. Mm -hmm. And then when we watched mm -hmm. the roast, mm -hmm. I think she started feeling horrible for me. Can we it's tell? Just, the, can we share with the people? I, share the, with the people, but can, I, don't give you details. Don't, you don't that even might know the away. particulars. Mm -hmm. You guys requested mm -hmm. a roast, mm -hmm. okay? So there will be some roasting happening. Yep. Brendan's going to host. I'm going to host. Yep. And and I tuxedo. And I, I had some other pitches on people. I, these are my concerns. Uh, I have an ex-wife, and I got a lot of ex-girlfriends, and I uh -huh. hope that none of them show up. Yeah. Mm. Shit. Oh, fuck. Mm. Great. <laughs> They're all coming. 
Ah. <laughs> Can't wait for my kids to... <laughs> Daddy! Well, and you have two new kids who are going to show up. Yeah. Yeah. Your, oh. your, <laughs> the, 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 your, your oh, teenage fuck. son you had with... <laughs> with... Yeah. No. But I, I, th- th- there was a request that no children... Mm. Yeah. were invited to your roast, uh, which yeah, is I'm, going I could, to happen. I didn't know that, and I think that's a good call. Yes, because th- it's going to be, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I think the people are going to push the envelope are, are a little we, bit. Are you ready for that? Are we capturing any of this so that maybe some of our rock tailors might get some highlights? I mean, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah that might set something good. up. Right? Yeah. I, have some, I, I, th- I have some good friends that are also mean friends. Oh yeah, and you, uh, uh, my biggest worry, right? Uh huh. Actually, I'm not too. Uh, uh, You're it's going to be okay. painful, but I think uh, when I say worry, I guess I mean the the people that are going to crush. I mean, bring it home. Yeah. I mean, you. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. Gotti, I'm not. Yeah. We're not going to. We're not going to tell you who is roasting. Well, I'm. I can lovingly say there has to be a little bit of management because. We can't have Every. 300 people yeah. trying to get up and do a five-minute roast. Is that fair? Is oh, that enough information to share with you that doesn't ruin anything? No, I thought I thought this was a 72-hour situation. <laughs> okay, a three-day whoa, 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 whoa. Now, three roast. I thought it started That's on what Saturday. Yeah, right? and then it went into Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, here's uh-huh. what I thought. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'll be disappointed. It's like okay. Woodstock. I, okay, uh, Ian... Ian, are you? Did you set up the uh, the mushroom yurt uh, for for Ian for Asbury the, the cult? Yeah, Ian I Asbury. Have no idea. What do you mean you have no idea, Ian? He has a week to figure it out. We've asked Ian to set up some sort of shamanistic situation in the in the at the to prep people undisclosed lo- Bloody location. Bloody hard work. Yes. Well, I, I thank you, I thank you, Ian, for putting in the, the at time minimum. We wanted him to have a mushroom tea stand. You can't have that. Yeah. Well, you, yes, you can, Ian. We talked about this. I, I, you, you know can't what? Go so back far, this. this is like the, my list of things. I'm like, these are mandatory for this event to happen. Was, you know, you, Ian, being able to be uh, uh, my guide to the unknown, you know, in, in, in the uh, mushroom yurt. And that's Uncharted hap- waters. That's your, that, uh, not to spoil anything, but that's your gift from everyone. You mm-hmm. and Ian are going to go out into the California desert. In yeah. the week after this party, yep, and the that could two be a good super group. Work out in a cave. <laughs> yeah, gonna... I, here's what I want. Here's what I want. Okay, I want to be hung upside down like a bat. I want Stop people it. to pull my toenails out. Right. I want uh, the scene from Lethal Weapon where they electrocute him and like and you know all of those things. I don't know. I feel like if I can take the punishment of this this roast, then I may as well kind of live through the things I'm most afraid of. You know, again, like the Joshua character, Bic Lighter underneath his arm. You know, let's get, let's actually get, uh, what's his name to drive out without a helmet and a motorcycle out to the desert and, um, you know, beat the shit out of me and, and let's just live a, live a different life after this. I'm 50. What ready point to do you put the big boy pants on? Thank you. Ian gets me. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. What point do you put the big boy pants on? Well, I think I'm 50. I think, uh, my, uh, I'm ready. I'm finally ready. Well, it's going to be an event for the ages, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hopefully. I we, well. We're all very excited about it. Got one person to blame. Television <laughs> actor Ahmed Zappa. <laughs> yeah, got one person to blame. Yeah. It's myself. Yeah, it's you. It's so, yourself. So let's, let's, uh, let me understand, right? I was, mm-hmm. I, I was trying to say this earlier. Uh, you, you went to, uh, to Pearl Jam. I went to Pearl Jam. Patrick Muldoon, TV's Patrick Muldoon, my brother-in-law, also went to Pearl Jam. Yes. And what I find fascinating was he sent me two pictures today. He says, which is more important? Okay. A picture of him standing next to Robert Goulet, right? Or the picture of him next to Eddie Vedder. Which and looks similar. his bros. Huh? Which looks similar, right? <laughs> it's yeah. kind of... well. The, uh, Robert Goulet is a hell of a lot taller. I didn't realize that Eddie Vedder is, um, he's, uh, he's not a tall man. He's not a tall man, but, no, but what, here's the, he the, the more important question is, was Robert Goulet backstage at Pearl Jam like your brother was? No, this was like a 20-year... Okay. Uh, I was hoping that Robert Goulet was at Pearl Jam the he, night that your brother was. Isn't he dead? I don't Robert know. Goulet? Is Robert Goulet dead? 
I think they just put his ashes in salad dressing at this point. Dunk of Shane. Um, Dunk of Shane. What an incredible show. Mm -hmm. Patrick loved it. Patrick, your brother, Mm -hmm. sent out to the world that picture of him and Eddie Vedder and then two of his bros. Yeah. Who were probably, you know, some important people as well. And they loved it. Did he? Did How he, was the show, Brando? Yeah, fucking, did he play fucking amazing. Any covers? They at my show because uh-huh. I was at a different. I was at. I went on Tuesday night. Patrick went on Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. Tuesday night they almost closed with Baba O'Reilly by the Who. Okay. They didn't do Ray or me. They did not. They did not do that. <laughs> and then so, Patrick's so, night so. they did uh, "Won't Back Down" by Tom Petty. Oh, nice. That's a good but choice. But they. I mean, they're mad. They are. Masters. Here's yeah, they the review. Are. They are masters. If you weren't a Pearl Jam no- nerd, Tuesday night might have been tough because they played basically the whole new record, right? Which is amazing. But if you don't know Pearl Jam, yeah, there was a lot of time to go get a beer and go to the restroom and all that kind of stuff. That's but, not at every show where you spend a lot of time. Just well, they getting they, beer? they mix it up a little bit. Yeah. But th- this tour is heavy on the new record. But they are they're masters. And by the way, here's the big takeaway. Eddie Vedder <laughs> is kind of achieved Bruce level. He told great stories mm-hmm. of coming to the forum as a young kid. But he e- told two every song, amazing stories. He does a breakdown where he just, it's like he's yeah. like, you know, freaking out in a bathtub. Like, yes. Yes, he does. Every song, right? Every song. Every song. He fucking, by the way, he why sounds does he, why, did, why does he do this with his fingers? Did you, <laughs> he, did you ask him He that? doesn't do that the whole time. He might yeah. do that every once in a while, but he doesn't okay. do that. It does. Yeah, it does. Like a little it lobster does, boy. It does feel like he it should be on the cover of the National Enquirer as the rock and roll as lobster, lobster boy. boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Let's give him no. that. But he told great he stories. Like a lobster. He told a story about. Is the hair real? The I think real. so. Yeah. I think so. Eddie's, he's great. great. I have no, Eddie's the fucking best. He sounds <clears throat> incredible. I'm sure. No, he's phenomenal. Yeah, performer. He and, and he's he's a little fucking engine. <laughs> and the band is he's amazing. a little fucking engine. He's a little fucking engine. Is this wow? That just yeah. suddenly that's, that's weird. <laughs> wow, I just love his music, and you know what? He's a little fucking engine. Love to make out with him. You know, just yeah. if you if you haven't had a chance to fuck that guy, he's a little fucking engine. He'll take you. Uh, he'll take you to, to the break of dawn. According to Brando. <laughs> I didn't realize Don't that. Call me daughter, officer. And when now the weird part is when you say he's a little fucking engine, and then you say "Don't call me daughter," you put those two things together, and it does reveal a creepier side of you. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, that's my review. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go that's see right. them if you have the chance to go see are, Pearl Jam. Are they are they uh, uh, playing again soon? Uh, they're playing in Napa Valley tonight, I believe. So no, no chance they're going to retire. So what I'm asking. No, no, no. Okay, just asking for a friend. Yeah. Um, uh, have you have you seen uh, have you enjoyed their music and seen them play? Sure, a long, long time ago though. Mm. Not recently. Did you ever see like uh, what would be? I think the perfect storm, the perfect lineup. I don't know if this ever happened, but you know, in in my mind, this must have been the the tour lineup. Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, mm. you know, uh, Nirvana. A, 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 and then Nirvana. Did that think, lineup that never ever happen? Ha- that never got to happen, did it? No, it no, did not. Back in the day. I, I was at the MTV Awards when Pearl mm-hmm. Jam played and Nirvana played. And I watched, because I was working for MTV, I watched Pearl Jam watch Nirvana was sound that check. The, was that the, the day you got fired? From MTV? The day I got fired slash quit because I wanted to watch everybody. It's not really a slash. Huh. Slash. Slash quit. Yeah, it's quit. Kind of a fired quit. I said fuck you before you could say fuck you to me because I wanted because I was at a historical event and I was only twenty two years old and I was like yeah. fuck this. Screw yeah. getting paid five bucks an hour. Yeah, fuck you people. How'd that go for you? Whoa. Oh, sorry. I burned some bridges. Moving the table. I burned some bridges, but I didn't want to work for MTV. Fucking assholes. So, so does Eddie like in the music video for Even Flow, whatever? Does he does he climb a, the fucking giant tower and like leap into the audience? He like has a, done like that. A, he did not do that the other night, but that was one of the highlights. Was Even Flow? Even Flow, thoughts are all like butterflies. Wait, 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 what's that line? Lifting oh, soon. Oh, no. <laughs> no, what's the what no, is he I saying? Oh, yeah. mm. A pot roast. Oh, someday, yeah. Chopping um, broccoli. Chris in the chat wants to know if you are going to do shrooms at the roast. 
no, 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 no. Let's think about that. Because if you do, I'll do it with you. As Rob Cordry said, that's a little too advanced. Yeah. Um, uh, I well, I, I still nothing's changed in that department. Still, never smoked pot, never taken any drugs, and um, you know, uh, I I just I don't know that that's ever going to be a thing for me. How and everyone I hope says not. you have to I ease into not. it. How about so, so going like, back to Vegas for Dead and Company at the Sphere on June twenty second? Like oh, when you're doing acid, if you drank like this much blotter's acid, do you just <laughs> you just like, die? No, 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 you die. You're not yeah, you die. No, no, no. That's that's you not even. Barrett, that's not even. You, that that's that's worth like mm-hmm. five hundred. Yeah, you just blots. die. Yeah. But wasn't the whole thing back in the day? They just had like a bucket of it. And you would just like no, they do- cut it with Kool Aid or something like that, and you could just yeah. Drink. It was very but, precise but was back cut. then, right? Cut. A bucket of acid. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to. Do- you're never going to do acid. Have so. you done acid? No, I don't. No, I've never you, done drugs, you, man. You've done acid. I have done acid. Yeah. Last week or when was no, that? No, no, no. Actually, the last time I did acid, the okay, last what? time I did shrooms, actually was is that the, the last same? time that the Grateful Dead played in Las Vegas? Is acid and shrooms the same category? No, of- they are psychedelics, mm-hmm. but the a shroom is a more mellow psychic experience than acid, which can be very intense. The last time I did acid was at Metallica at the Forum on the Black Tour, 1991. Give me that this clarity. I know you've described this before, but when you say intense, is like one thing is like it fucking puts you into the matrix. Again, I, all I want to, if I'm ever going to do something, yeah. I don't want like, was that great? I'm like, no, no, no. What I want is fucking record, record scratch reality. Like at the end of the Twilight Zone, like we've I've mentioned this before, it's like you want to see something really scary where the person rips their face off. Yeah. Like Boone from yeah. Nightbreed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Peliquin takes out his thumb knives and rips his own fucking face off. I don't right? think that's like, good. I think that's it's not good. See, that's why, and you, you don't, shouldn't you don't do, want it, to do that. mushrooms at your birthday because no. you'll go. Here are all the people in my life, mm-hmm. every single person that's important to me. Every person that's fucked with me before in the past. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. That sounds good. It's an army of people who have fucked with me. Oh, my fucking God. How do I get out of here? Do I go over the wall? And do I go in my neighbor's pool? But that's that's the thing. It's like I I would be, uh, you know, I... I think you're misunderstanding. I literally want... You want that. I I want Beetlejuice. I literally want a giant fucking... You want PTSD. I think so. Yeah. You want to break your brain. Uh 855-601-ROCK. We're talking acid tonight Mm. on the show. So, no. Acid trips. I don't think I'm going to be taking it. I okay, don't. that's a good question. That's mm-hmm. a, it was a Thank nice you. question. Sorry, Chris, he will not be taking shrooms mm. on his birthday. We don't want him to. We want him to enjoy the roast. Well, you know what? Here's well, if if Sebastian Bach uh, comes to my to my roast, um, uh, maybe oh, maybe if he if he's if he if he <laughs> he's on tour. He's on tour. He mm. is he, he is literally on tour. So you ruined my party. Is what you're saying? Wow. You didn't get. I, I gave you a list. Drug yurt <laughs> by, drug, by yurt, Ian drug yurt with Ian Asbury. I, and then Sebast- Sebastian Bach, my wine friend. I just want to, I just honestly. Sebastian, if you're watching, mm-hmm. you can take over the hosting duties from me at Amit's Roast if you like. Uh, he would be good. He would be good. Because it would go so smooth, he'd have like, uh, "Hey, we're all we're all cool here. I'll just start with one glass of wine, and <laughs> and then um, that might lead into another, and then, you know, I can just see him, you know, like Sebastian. It's it's one o'clock. You, everyone loves your new record, and we're gonna prove it by going through every single track, but they have to sleep. He's like, "No, <laughs> we're going. What's up, Hancock Park?" <laughs> Right. Wake ah! up, mother truckers! Yeah, yeah. Cool beans. So, should we take a um, take a quick t- break? Take a come quick back. Break. We're gonna Make go sure through this record. Running quickly, uh, running properly, and then we are. Uh, we're running. Let's go. within the man. Yeah, track yeah. by track. Sebastian yeah. Bach, incredible new record. Yep. When we come back, mm-hmm. we refill. We're on track. Thank you for sticking with us. I want to hear from you Fucking guys. You can go track by track with us if you want. Um, we want to honor Sebastian and how amazing his tour is going. If you we saw love this Sebastian, call us up. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what uh, what uh, what are your favorite tracks. It's Rock Tales. We'll be right back.
This is delicious. We are back. If you want to give us a call, we are discussing Sebastian's new record. You love it. We love it. Uh, I can't wait to go track by track. Um, one of the best best times we've had in a long time is when uh, he, he came into the studio. So if you feel like giving us a call and sharing in the Sebastian love, 855-601-ROCK, the rock line. You ready to ready to get into this? Are you guys ready? Yeah, I, I think so. Hopefully, yeah. all the audio is working, and we'll be able to hear the track. I purposely did not listen to this record. Oh, you haven't listened to you it yet? No. It. Oh no, nope. well, this yeah. is gonna be delightful. It's legit. He's carrying the torch of fucking rock. Are we just dropping the needle? Should yeah, we start from the, the top? Go, go, go the top. track by track. We go from Number the top. One. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Count it off for us. First track. Everybody bleeds. Like you can. It's so good. It's, can you turn it up a little bit so I can hear a little bit louder in my ears? Yeah. I think he played this uh, when he was on the show. You when he was here, track, right? Yeah. 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 When he was here, he did the roar for us. Yeah. Yeah, we've heard this one. Yeah, it's a great one. Great opening so, track. Great you know what? This is this is my. Uh, I, I, I we didn't. I didn't ask him this when he was here, but I, I wonder um, how many takes he does uh, in the studio. I don't know if he's super precious or not. He's know. just such a professional with such a big voice. I wonder if he's like, no, that was that was awesome. What do you think? That is an amazing question. I assume he doesn't need that many takes. No, I don't think so either. Because he's a he's an actual singer. Yeah. Yeah. He's a real singer. He yeah. knows how to sing. You know, but like some people, you know, uh, I mean, maybe he's very particular about his his voice. You know, I mean, he's got such great control. But I, I, I do wonder. I, I, if I was a betting man, I would say he's like, no, no, no just do a few takes. That's it, if yeah. any. Yeah. Right. That's what I think. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll have to ask him. Yeah. It's That's know. a good question. It's called freedom. All right. So we we love that track. What was that track called? Everybody bleeds. Everybody that was one bleeds. of the first singles. From Everybody the bleeds. Yeah, Why didn't he go with that melody? <sighs> the REM cover. Oh yeah, every, everybody. Everybody hurts. What, that's, that's what you were singing. Every, hmm. Everybody, everybody bleeds, hurts. So. This is called yeah, freedom. Makes sense. Did I hear a cowbell? Scream now. It's really, it's really good. Here's the scene, right? Okay. Four months from now, five months from now, right? People are going to be like, what was that song? 
in Bad Boys 5 with Will Smith and right. whatever, right? Right. We're like, they're driving down the highway, yeah. and Will Smith is hanging outside, you know, hang out with an M16 when yeah. this music is playing in the fucking background, right? And we're like, Rock is back! That's my, like, sync prediction for that track. I feel like he starts with a tempo. Like, or, I, or uh-huh. right? It's just a bunch of Navy SEALs, right? They're fucking putting on their fucking headphones, right? And they're about to Chris fucking, Hemsworth. Yeah, it's fucking Chris Hemsworth yeah. and, like, <laughs> fucking... And the guy who plays Reacher. Yeah, the, the reimagining of Commando. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. His daughter's been stolen. He's going to go... An ex-Navy SEAL's going to go get his daughter back from one of his commando buddies who's running a fucking drug operation. You took my daughter. Right? So he's going to fucking go break down the fucking door, and that's playing in the background. Fucking freedom! Yes. Thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you. Fucking making... You know, you and Taylor Swift are the same. You fucking reinventing how people are going to the movies. Without your music, Sebastian, we wouldn't be able to have action movies anymore. I think KCAL should play Freedom every time they do a high-speed chase at nighttime from Sky 9. That song was written by John 5 and Sebastian Bach. Did John 5 play guitar on that? I'm sure he did. That's fucking amazing. Love that track. Love John 5. I'm I'm trying to (sighs) find credits. I don't... That's Let's okay. get the next play, 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 play the next banger. You know, your dad went viral this week on Twitter from an old Crossfire video. My dad, my my, my dad's not alive. I, I understand that, but people <laughs> found an old video of him oh, talking about America turning into a theocracy, and they it exploded on Twitter. It went viral. No, my my father was on for those Crossfire of you. Uh, in this is my personal belief. Uh, if you haven't uh, read the real Frank Zappa book, yep. I say this all the time. My father was the Nostradamus of music. Yep, and uh, he predicted. A lot of um, digital distribution, uh, technological yeah. advances, uh-huh. mm-hmm. yes, uh, a did. bunch of things. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, Sebastian Bach has a new record out. Yep. yep. Number three. Hold on to the dream. Those bells? Yeah, no, it's the, it's the end of days. This, I'll tell you what you want to know. It's happening this the beginning of this. It's happening, right? So this is the opening to a, to a new horror movie. So, yeah, right? turn, turn it up. Turn it up. Okay. It's called the Rapture. Yeah, right. And it's a young kid who stumbles across like a medallion, right, in a church, in a, in a, a in like a defunct church, an abandoned basement. church. Exactly, right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you know, some of the other kids are like, I dare you to go in there. Right, and they're like, you don't go in there, I'm going to beat you up. He's like fucking 10 or some shit like that. Like, fine, okay. He goes and then finds his fucking medallion. He falls down the, through the floor. He, exactly. Right? Uh, he falls through the, the broken yeah. floor. Oh, oh. Yeah, but but yeah. he looks over in the corner yeah. of the room. Yep. And there's a box. Yeah. And he goes over and he limps it over. Starts and he, to glow. Opens the box. Mm-hmm. Are we listening to movie pitches or Sebastian's no, 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 new no, no, Sebastian this is, this, box? This is what's happening with the soundtrack this track. to a Come movie. Come on, turn it up. Come on. Can't you see it? And, and, and he opens up the fucking box, and the second he touches it, Warwick Davis from fucking Leprechaun, right? It, 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 like he shows up, but he's like, boy, a boy. These guys like the sound of their own voices, not Sebastian's. Wait, what? What? Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. By the way, this this is like the, 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 this is the popularity of this of this yeah. music. The music takes you somewhere. Yeah. It takes you to a horror yeah. movie yeah. It's, it's about the, a boy who finds a fucking medallion that gives him the power of the devil. <laughs> and you're pooping on our. We're pitching. I, we're I pitching. And in the, in the Amit Zappa, Richard, you work for the Amit Zappa Empire. I, I, this is how I, things I get made. I don't understand. I don't understand. First of you all, don't understand. Do you have an issue with vertically challenged actors? Because that's what hey. this feels like. That you, <laughs> okay. all of a sudden, yeah. I mentioned Warwick Davis. You're like, why are we doing this? No. I, I, please acknowledge that, okay? Do you not like the movie Willow? Do you I, not like Leprechaun one through a billion? I've never seen it. I've never seen it. This is why, this is why, right? Sometimes we have to reassess our friendships. With, you need me for this. I do. Because I love Can you explain Warwick to him? <laughs> explain it to Go him. Go to track four. Let's move on to the next track. That was fucking We didn't phenomenal. hear that one. We yes, heard we did. it. We totally I just, heard it. To, I just it told you to what the song is about. It took us to a Fuck. place where we pitched a fully formed movie. <laughs> My ass. Oh, God. Gee, I mean, I don't, I, this, this is... 
Sebastian Bach, right? He is producing these movies, Richard. This is why we're yeah. bringing this up. His music is the impetus for these. Um, you think I'm channeling what Sebastian wants. Brando gets it. Yeah, What's wrong with you? Uh, what do I got to lose? I'll tell you what this movie is about. What you do? <laughs> there's a yeah. there, what do I got to yeah. lose? There, there's the, the, a the, satanic the, monkey. The it's, it, it, right. no, no. it's everyone's movie, movie to lose, but same with, movie. A sat, with a satanic monkey and a <laughs> truck driver who's also a bar fighter who's gonna save a small town from a drug dealer that used to see now you are shrooming. <laughs> yeah. Now you are shrooming. Exactly. I say it's the same movie, little boy. He's finally going to use the medallion for the first uh -huh. time to get a date with a hot chick in the, in the school. And Warwick Davis <laughs> comes back. Play the track. I, I'm losing what the movie is about. You got to play the track. Gotti, do you remember the meeting we had before this show? I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. But when the, the jocks show up to beat the shit out of him, he's like, and then what happens is You can beat me, take everything I got, but you can't take away my pride. You can wear me into submission, babe. Well, at least you can give it a try. It's fucking Eddie Vedder with his lobster hands. It's fucking awesome. It's great. Oh my god, that was a good song. Yeah. Uh, Chris says, "Who needs shrooms when you've got a satanic monkey?" <laughs> Again, they get Genius. it. Genius. I know. They get they, it. They understand. Why? Why they are understand. your glasses fogging so, up? <laughs> Listen, so, I've never seen that happen. Richard. Such Richard. A hard show. Um, to produce <sighs> this record. <sighs> which is an evocative of an incredible era of rock, takes us to yeah. a very specific sure. place. Hard darkness. There's something in the bayou. <laughs> you got that fucking boat. Going through the Everglades, right? Fucking, it's dark, the canopy and all that. Is that a gamer? He drives the General Lee. Guys, I think that was a great pitch. <laughs> K -J K -J that was fantastic. That was great. What's the name of that song again? It's called Hard Darkness. Yep. Now, now let's, quick quick timeout. Mm -hmm. This fucking record is fucking amazing. It, it for, is. Legit. We, well, we're celebrating it. We are celebrating it, and we are celebrating it by... I mean, not it, that you can hear it, because I'm letting you guys pitch over the top of it. Which is great. I mean, I mean, all your pitches are really, really you, good. You, you're stepping all over the creative process. Right? No, I'm not. I mean, everybody's <laughs> I mean, hearing all of your pitches. First of all, first of all, we're giving royalties to, to Sebastian on all of this. No, I know. Well, as Sebastian's manager, you yeah. guys worked that out beforehand. Google's where, paying. Right? Uh, I mean, look, uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm neither going to deny nor confirm. That out of all the stuff that we talked about with Sebastian, he was like, hey, could you please do me a favor? Can you come up with the best movie pitches of all time for each one of my tracks? I was like, done. Yes, it would be do that. an honor and, and a privilege. And by the way, I will guarantee pleasure. you that everyone is hearing these pitches. Yeah. Well, and, so, and they're writing checks to Sebastian yeah. right Just, now. Uh, future of youth. Here we go. Well, here we go. Fucking hits enter, passes his, he passes out. 
knocks over a drink and electrocutes a computer. He gets zapped into the future. Right? He's like, this is, this is a... To fucking unlock the power of, of the future to send him back where music is restored to where metal is the predominant shit that's played that on was, the fucking radio yeah, again. Yeah, that was the pr that was great. That was I, really it, a great one. In the 30 years I've known him, I and in the almost 30 years I've yeah, known him, I have one. never thought he needed to do shrooms because somehow his brain <laughs> magically yeah. goes to this to the place where we need substances to get to. He yeah. just does it naturally. Vendetta. Oh, this song writes itself. Yeah. You killed my dog, man. I thought I should have pissing your fucking... God damn it. Keanu Reeves already made that one, right? Mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves already made that movie. He did. That's okay, but it's, it's, it's there. Let's pivot. Play it again. Play it from the top. Let's try to channel a new okay. idea. Okay. By the way, no one's make. The great thing about this is... We need to appreciate the fact that this record is being made in 2024 because yeah. this is going to be a lost art soon. Yeah. What? The, what? No, it's no, no, coming no. back. Why are you being negative? What the fuck is wrong with you? No, I don't think there's anything wrong with me. By the way, uh, have you noticed he's lost weight? No, he looks great. I, I'm telling you, this is a this is a fucking amazing rock record. So I worry about the future. I worry about the future when I hear this. That a man like Sebastian Don't worry. could make this record in 2024, future. it's huge. It well. Give me fun. It's Let rock school rock for mic. young people. Am I wrong? Yeah, no, you're not wrong. It's rock school. Vendetta. Oh, well. You killed my dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to die. It's a guy who works in a fucking sea laboratory, right? And there's like, uh, there's, there's oil underneath that sea lab. We must destroy it and take it over. And he killed this guy's pet dolphin that he's nursed since it was a baby, right? And he just goes into a fucking rage, right? Yeah. Vendetta. Sea Vendetta by Thank Sebastian Bach. Thanks for coming in, Amit. But you, it was good happy, to see you. Happy to be here. Yeah, Thank it's you. good to see you. Any, uh, any other things I can do for you? Listen to that. Beautiful track. This sounds like a dolphin. Yeah, there, see that? That's, that's dolphin music. Can we, um, can we take a second to find out who's playing on the record by any chance? Hmm. Is there any way we can pull up some information on the... Well, I, mean, that's I could five. do that myself to look and see who's playing on Chad within the man, Sebastian Bach, I mean, an amazing new record. Here. We want all of our Rocktail fans to go out and buy it. Well, they, but I think they should. They've already downloaded it. If they haven't, then shame on you. I want to know who's playing on it. Shame on you. They're fucking killing it. Did you see today that uh, the other members of Skid Row said, yeah. I'm going to put this to rest. I know. It's never going to happen with a reunion. Well, they're, they're tired of hearing well, about the fact that they fucking need him. Well, let me just say, and he fuck you to the rest of Skid Row because Sebastian's fucking record proves that it's never going to happen because he's never fucking needed you, motherfuckers. Doesn't need you. That's right. Okay, here we go. Uh, Brent Woods. We mm -hmm. know him. Oh, you do? Uh, Devin Bronson. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Drums. Jeremy Colson. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? John Five, John guitar. Five, of yeah. course, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else? Miles Kennedy. He composed. He, yeah, he wrote play. some. He wrote some tracks. Orianti. Oh, guitar. really? And uh, Warwick Davis. There he is. Steve he, Stevens played he's guitar. He's on. He's on the record with War with Warwick. And of course, Davis. Todd Kearns played bass. What what uh, instruments did Warwick play? <laughs> Who? Warwick Davis. <laughs> Warwick. Is Warwick Davis still uh, with us? Congos. Yeah, he's immortal. First of all, he's a leprechaun. Just no, don't I, steal I his do gold. Understand and you're that, but cool. I, I thought I thought that he left the building. I didn't know that. No, no, he he's, he. His show, the follow up to Willow, was canceled. That's all that happened. Oh right, right, yeah. right, right, right. They just took that right off of Disney Plus. You know why? He's too powerful of an actor. This song's called F U.
I speed chased down Ventura, like literally right through Studio City. Yep. I'm telling you, it's, you just think it's a touring guys that are just in a bowling league, but they're really vampire hunters. And that's what's happening. <laughs> what is that? A, a, a it's their, they, 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 they play in the Kings and Queens League, uh -huh. okay? They're amazing bowlers, but their real job is vampire hunting. And this is them discovering. Plow into Corbin Bowl and yeah. drive around. I think yeah. that I think that was that was fucking hilarious. Well, the final kill Guys, scene to bring great. it back to bowling is that the was, bowling pins. Really There's one that snapped, yeah. and the main vampire, mm. played by Kiefer Sutherland, mm -hmm. all right, is stabbed. Pause. Yep. How about Kiefer Sutherland, our old friend from the old show? Keith? Keith? Right, right there. Keith? How about on the wish list for 2024? Uh, Kiefer. Well, first? In here, in first, the studio. We have to lock him up into the role of a lifetime. Okay? <laughs> totally understood. And then once he signs on to the Ventura Bowling Alley, what was yes. the name of that, tra the, that track? Corbin Bowl. That track was called FU. FU. Yeah, once he signs on to FU, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the movie. As the lead vampire. Then he can play. A few, you know, acoustic jams here. That's the only way you're invited, Kiefer, is once you sign on to FU, the <laughs> we have, bowling vampire movie. We have preconditions for yep. Kiefer yes. to come here? Yeah. I think, is he CAA, UTA? Good, good, hey, good move, yeah. guys. WME. I think he's WME. WME? Yeah, I yeah. think let's, let's, let's we'll make call, that we'll, phone call. Sebastian, <laughs> Sebastian, we'll, let's call Magic Keefe. Right. Guys are out of control. Can yeah, you imagine week. a dinner with Sebastian Bach and Kiefer Sutherland <laughs> at the Smokehouse in Burbank? I can't, I can't, well, I are they? Are are have we had any wine? <laughs> because I can imagine the two of them talking about WKRP in Cincinnati <laughs> and like their like TV buff fandomonium. That seems amazing. But then you put some drinks in there, and then and then I'm worried about them like literally walking hand in hand and be like, let's just fucking break into the Oakwood apartments and make some new friends. <laughs> I'm like worried about that, right? Hey, uh, brand new mountain lion seen behind the Oakwood apartments. That's this just in! I'm not, this is not, this, this, this week, in. photo was taken, KABC, uh, KCAP. Uh, the guy got the fucking photo. Uh -huh. The mountain lion that's been living between the 4 or 5 yeah. and the 101 went behind those buildings, like on Tuesday night, Monday mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Brand he, new mountain lion. Did he eat a, a poodle? Did he? He's looking for something. Anyway, <sighs> that's all. What yeah. Is, well, no, what's after F you? Crucify me. Oh, crucify. Oh, well, I mean, this is, by the way, I love this track. I mean. We're going to have a good by time. Way, this feels like, in all seriousness, right? I think that this track could have easily been a Judas Priest number. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I'm actually shocked. This is this is this is uh, what I would love to see happen, because this record is so good. People are responding to it so favorably, yep. right? Yes. I would love to see those. Like, who who does Sebastian invite up on stage to kind of crush some of this new music or whatever the kind of covers? This this to me is I, I would love to see, you know, Rob Halford and Sebastian Bach going fucking toe to toe on this particular track. Just saying. Wishful thinking. Carries the power of rock. Yeah, this album sounds really fucking. It good. sounds really yeah. good. Well, listen, uh, you know the movie version of this track is actually it's one of those odd turns for Sebastian. This right? is called "About to Break." It's the end credits uh, <laughs> title track for for the movie. That's the Chris, first. Chris in the chat calls it "Venture of Vampires." That was his pitch. Oh, the, oh his, that's pretty good. His, 
Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you got it, bro. You're fucking hired. Okay, listen. You can't give us gold like that. We, we're going to give you a, you know, a taste of the action. About to break. I'm sorry. Is this Incubus or is this Sebastian Bach? Right? Doesn't this sound like this could be an Incubus track? Absolutely. My takeaway from sitting down with him is that he cares about his place in the pantheon of singers. A hundred percent. In the best way, because he looks at it as an art and like, yeah. there's so many different sort of styles of singing on this record. Well, his melodies so are good. also not, uh, I mean, he gives you the anthemic rock choruses, yeah. which I love. But, you know, you, you can hear them like, oh, that's, a, you know, he, he makes really interesting choices and he yeah. just sounds amazing. He can so, sing. He knows how to sing. Sebastian, we love you so much. Really awesome record. What's the movie? Guys, you're letting me down here. I mean. Oh, wow. Now, <laughs> this, 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 about this to fucking break. guy. Next track. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Is this an inspiring uh, you're movie? Like, you're, uh, you're giving me whiplash in this relationship, okay? okay? I'm breaking the, up with you. Okay, this is called To Live Again. Well, to Live obviously Again. obviously, we know what this music is about, right? Egyptian times. Fucking. You, it's the ballad. You, you fucking pull in, right? The shot. A overhead shot of the fucking Great Pyramid, right? Or the Manhattan Beach Pier. But, but it's it's a. It, what it is, it's a dual screen, okay? okay. Same actor, <laughs> right? Being fucking sacrificed three thousand years 3, ago. Three thousand years ago, current and day, they, and right? And they both, like, they both try to commit suicide. And uh, Joe a, Piscopo. It's kind of like that. I think you could sell that. I'm with you. I, I don't <laughs> just is, say this because I'm just trying to, uh, you know. It's really brilliant. <laughs> do we have anyone on the Thank phone? You. On the <laughs> Do we have anyone on the phones? I don't, do you want to talk to somebody? Call? I want to talk to somebody. Mm. Okay. I want to find out. I want to just, uh, just want to hear what people are. Mm. What are you, they do, have they have a, do they have a pitch for one of these music videos Maybe. slash uh, um, oh, billion dollar franchises? Just take who are you and where are you calling from? Welcome to Rocktails. Uh, who, yeah, who, who is this? Where are you calling from, and what are you drinking? And how much do you love right Sebastian now, Bach? I've been, trans I've been transcended in time to 1980 fucking seven. It's nothing but Camaros with t tops and yeah. fucking long hair, and everything is cool. It's goddamn Lost Boys. It's Rutger Hauer and Blind Fury. It's yes, fucking you fucking, fucking get cool. it. That's so good. Jesus That's... Christ, I've never done mushrooms either, or fucking hard drugs. But goddamn it, Amit, you. It's like. Oh. It's like an acid trip without doing acid. That's great. Well, I, I, Thank I, you for calling. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, the, I love that you mentioned Blind Fury because uh, what a great movie. What a great fucking great. movie. That Rutger Hauer, what a peach. Can you tell the story of uh, Rutger Hauer in the Zappa Kitchen? Did I think I when your friend did. didn't I? Yeah. You did talk about yeah. that. You no, were no, no, just high that day, so you don't no, remember. No, no, it was tell, about three, four weeks ago. Tell the story. Well, I. This is the end of like uh, what's the name of this track? Oh wait, your wife is on the chat. To live again. My wife is your on the wife chat. Your wife is on the Whoa, chat, and what? Monica, Gotti's wife wait, is on the what? chat. Why are the <laughs> wife wife Shannon like, just wrote? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Oh my god, and 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 Naughty wow. Gotti, your 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 wife too. When the wives like, are in the chat, that's not a, a good sign. That's not a good Woo! sign. Well, wait, what's the name up. of that track again? Play that track. That was to a really. Live I love that one. Shana, your husband took mushrooms tonight. It's crazy. Listen to this for a second. It's the last Starfighter. It's the remake. Okay. 
This is the final battle scene. He's about to fucking hit the button where the fucking last starfighter spins around and kills everyone in the fucking armada. Can't you see it? Yeah. Oh my god. He leans over, kisses his girlfriend. So good. Warwick Davis is, uh, what was the guy's name? Zardoz? What's the dude's name? Not a guy. What's, what was the, the, the fucking guy's name who you think is dead but comes back who was like his mentor, right? Anyone see The Last Starfighter? You, you haven't taken any gummies tonight? <laughs> no, no. Is there a possibility? No. no. Did, any, did someone dose you out there in the village? No. Yeah, I, I, after you see Eddie in the cruisers, one time changes your life. Changes your life. Yeah. Okay. Are we uh, almost done. done with this record? We're fucking done. We're, We're done, done with the record? Yeah. Look, we love the record. Sebastian, I just want to say to you. Up. See you in Ventura, bud. We will be there with bells on. Uh, please, please know that uh, all of these amazing ideas uh, are yours. Uh, we expect them to be uh, the music video choices for every single one of your tracks. Uh, don't let us down. Uh, you know, uh, we, we love you. We love all of you, Rock Taylors. Thanks for By sticking the way, there with us. A fantastic actor. One of the great rock musicians who's also an actor we can put sebastian in this movie for well obviously sebastian is starring as every single one of these roles so, I mean, <laughs> yeah how why that's uh, a given I'd, i say he's the lead he's the lead vampire we we can de-age him right he's the teenage boy is what i'm saying oh okay. he's every oh, I role oh, i see what you're saying yeah okay he, so Kiefer is the lead vampire Sebastian D age with the power of yes. CGI and all yes. that is a, a yes. 13 year old boy. He's See you guys next week. The 13 hey, year old next boy week. Oh, wait. of all time. Next week is a very special <laughs> pre roast kind of show. I believe so. So I think people should actually call in and roast you. Oh, I love that. A pre roast Maybe. roast? Oh, a pre yeah. roast roast? Oh, roast I love it? this. You is know that what? a good pitch? Yes, I love this. Pre roast roast. Am I pigeonholing the show I in, any, love that in any way? I love no, that people idea. should call in and roast me. Uh, you know, uh, please. Uh, you know, maybe I'll give you some feedback on the roast. Maybe I will uh, want to kill myself. Maybe. Who knows? You know what I mean? Don't you, know you I mean? want to hear Roz from New York roast you in some way? I, I would love that. Here's what, here's what I'm willing to do. Depending on how sensitive things are, like Mork from Ork, I will put my finger in the glass with a mini toaster connected to the light socket. And when I feel like it's too much, I'll just end it all by con the, connecting myself to my, to my rosé or... My yeah, Rose Savvy B, my Pinot, whatever it is. Is that a good I'm idea? I'm, I'm, not, I'm being honest. Is oh, that yeah. a good idea for a show next week? It's a great idea. The, the, the pre-roast mm -hmm. roast of Amit Zappa? Because every idea we have for a show doesn't... It doesn't matter doesn't what we're going to do. We actually yeah. did get through the, the record. We did. And, we, and everyone heard all of your pitches, which was really mm. good. Finger up. Mm. You guys mm -hmm. are geniuses. You really are. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Somehow I feel like you're... Being um, being a negative, and uh, but I'm gonna just fully lean in, take it as a compliment. Thank you all so much. We will see you next week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Sorry for the uh, the mishaps early on, but uh, we have a yummy dinner to get to. So uh, uh, are we eating? Yeah, I'm yeah. so hungry. We're, we're fucking going on the blaze of glory. Oh, we're gonna be yeah. listening to this record all night. See you next week. Roast me. Bye.